that Vienna would be an interesting sort of test ground for certain ideas uh, uh, that the studio has been researching and studying and proposing. Within Vienna, the idea of Heldenplatz uh, be became an interesting topic because it's a, it's a location in the city that is highly charged, um, has a remarkable history, and produced then within that a, a sort of innovation um, center for the future. Um, so the studio became a, a sort of research on that topic as well as to what would constitute uh, the house of the future, what would constitute a place of, of innovation and a place that um, the Viennese, the Austrians, and perhaps even globally um, could, could look at and use as a, as a place to unfold or unravel uh, the future. I think it's important that the school finds, um, has also a dialogue with the city in which it's located for sort of people to, um, to, to sort of understand what we do at the school. It's a show that in fact provokes questions. Um, and I think the school's value is that, is that it's a place that the students are incredibly articulate, they're incredibly uh, engaged in these projects across all the studios. So architecture is a, you know, in this respect is a kind of political act, um, and albeit a sort of hopefully a very productive and positive political act. It's not something that's there necessarily to uh, turn up the ground without answers. That's really the, the beauty of radical urban projects historically in our profession. And so we're kind of carrying on that tradition uh, here in Vienna.